How's it going, everyone? Just got to the beach. Out to the jetty, South Beach jetty. So, we're gonna get ready. Got my new little pickup truck. I'm gonna try this all out. We'll see how this goes. So, I'm gonna try to quickly get in. I have a shorter window. I gotta get into the water quick. So, we'll have to go from there. Okay. So, it is nice now. I actually have some room to throw some stuff in. All the wetsuit gear, or all the spearfishing gear, I should say. So, I have enough. I got a cover, like an RV plot to throw on the ground so I can change. So this is an open cell wetsuit. So you have to spray, you have to spray some lube all over it. I don't know if you can see, but I'm wearing thermals underneath because yeah, it's in the low 40s or mid 40s, something like that. So it's pretty chilly. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's cold. The surfers here showed me about this thing. They're these changing covers. They have a hood. Now you can change and take your clothes off, press the clothes off and when you're around people. Okay, here's the worst part of 40 degree weather going into wetsuit. You now you have to spray yourself. Not fun. Okay, <laughs> so I start sliding it. Oh, that is cold. It is cold. Okay. That's cold. Okay, worst part, worst part. Worst part. <laughs> and I have this shark, what's it, shark bands, uh, another thing some surfers showed me, don't really know how well it works, they have videos on it, but 100 bucks to possibly save a limb of my life, I'm willing to take that chance, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, try not to die here. So now you get the weight belt. People don't realize how buoyant these suits are. And so you gotta add weight when you're in the ocean because of the salt. These are quick release, so if you're drowning or you just can't get up fast, you can. I'll show you in a sec. I tighten that on. And so yeah, if you if you're gonna go, you just pull that lever and boom, it drops right off and you can get up faster. Oh crap, okay. Actually, I gotta put you guys away, so we'll keep filming once I get back. Hopefully I can limit and get some fish, so we'll see. We'll get some other footage uh, going after that, so I'll get back to you once I get in the water, so see you then. first opportunity to test out my tongs that I bought so I saw this kelp crab and decided I want to take a quick look at them with them see how the tongs worked and 
it actually worked pretty good, so it's pretty cool. So I let him uh, go back to the wild. I swear these black rockfish always look a lot bigger underwater, and then after you shoot them you realize it's not as large as you thought it was. But they still do have some fillets on them. So right here, after shooting the black rockfish, my uh, spear got itself jammed up in the rocks, and since it's the beginning of the day, I still don't have a strong breath hold, so I was kind of end of my breath and had to let the gun go and surface. After some tugging on my float line, I was actually able to break uh, the spear free and just pull it up without, or pull up my gun without having to actually dive down and get it, so that was pretty nice.
So this moment sucked for me because this was the largest greenling that I've ever seen come out in front of me, but I already have my limit of rockfish. So luckily this larger surf perch, striped surf perch came out, so at least I got that, but I was hitting myself for hitting, getting all those smaller rockfish earlier in the day.
If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content. So right here I am hunting that greenling I saw in the previous clip and of course when I shot in there I didn't notice the crab trap uh, until after I shot and it was just a nightmare getting this uh, spear out as you all are going to see it'll take, it takes me multiple dives to finally uh, get it off, get it out of there.
Now, if anyone's interested in any of my gear, I have some affiliate links in my description. And if it's not on there, you can just ask, it, ask me or um, put a comment and I will send you a link to uh, whatever you're looking for if I can find it still. Thank you. Thank you. 